But we have our crews all across Connecticut tonight. And I'm glad it's starting later in the day. I have stuff to do early Saturday morning. All right, let's head over to News 8's Jackie Slater, who's live at Long Wharf in New Haven with the, how things are preparing in every town. Jackie. Yeah, here in New England, we hear wind, we hear winter storm. Many of us start thinking about power outages. Well, UI says if that happens, they're going to be all over it. We also talked to officials in Milford who say they're actually excited about this storm. At the Milford Public Works, today is like Christmas. We just had this machine come in today. Uh, it was tentatively scheduled to come in in about two weeks. But with the forecast of this heavy weather over the weekend, we asked the uh, contractor, the manufacturer, if they could get it in and expedite it, and they did. It's called the trackless MT and can plow, brush, and throw snow up to 100 feet. It will be used to clear driveways, parking lots, sidewalks, and help maintain the city's 250 miles of roadways. Well, it's a four-wheel drive machine. It's an a, a awesome machine. It also does milling, so if we have a pothole in the wintertime, we can actually mill it and then pave it with our hot asphalt machine that we use. So it's, a, it's really a big addition to the city. The price tag, $153,000. But some good news for the city. So far, they're saving money on winter cleanups this year. We have been fortunate in the sense that, that, that we haven't had any major events yet, and we're hoping, like I said, it continues in that pattern. Also on hand, enough salt and molasses mixture to last through four storms. The average storm, like if we pre-treat, we do about a, a, a hundred ton in a pre-treating event. Public Works Director Chris Saley says pre-treating won't happen until a few hours before the storm. Other preparations are also being made in the state. United Illuminating, which serves 17 towns and cities, says their crews are geared up and ready. Make sure we have all the necessary equipment in place so that, you know, if things do happen and we need to replace wires quickly, we have all those uh, tools ready. After several major storms in recent history, UI says it's all about the planning. We've drilled quite a bit. Uh, we've done a lot of preparation in advance of and continue to always try to refine our processes. So how much snow is headed our way? Well, what this weekend will bring is still up in the air. But it looks like some towns are ready for whatever Mother Nature sends our way. And UI says they've already been in contact with outside resources should they need to call in extra help. But they, like many of us, are hoping that that doesn't happen. Live on Long Wharf, Jackie Slater, News 8.